Hey hello guys, it's How to Tech Simplified and in this video today I'm going to show you how to actually fix it when the Steam Capta isn't working and appears to be invalid. Now this is a very common issue faced usually on your browser. Now I'm going to show you how to actually fix it straight away. So let's get straight into it. Now the first thing that you want to do is open up your browser. Now let's say you're facing the issue on your main current browser and uh, what you could tr uh, first try is actually switching up your browser. Now, let's say you're using Firefox and here you can switch it to Google Chrome. Now, if that still didn't fix your issue, what you could also do is switch your network connection because sometimes it's a issue in your network. Now, if both of these issues didn't work, what you could also do is go to your main browser, open it up and from here, uh, we're going to clear the cookies and cached items. Now we're going to the top right uh, icon right here for Google Chrome and here we go to the button where the settings appear. Now straight from the settings what we will do is go to the privacy and security. Now inside the privacy and security here you see clear history, cookies, cache and more. Now we press this icon and from here we go to time range and Put it to all time now here it's very important that you uh, clear the cookies and other site data and the cached image and uh, files now from here we press clear data and that should fix the issue now if it still didn't fix the issue it's very important that the current language on your Steam uh, profile is set to the language that you're based in. So let's say you are from the Netherlands, as I do. It's very important that your uh, Steam account should also be set to Dutch. So let's say you're from the UK, it's important that it's set to English. Now sometimes it also happens that a VPN or proxy server is blocking the access to Steam so that the CAPTA won't work that way and it indicates that there's a problem. Now from there you should try to turn out off your VPN and try it again. Now sometimes the issue occurs uh, from out your PC itself. So what we are going to do next is go to the storage and do a cleanup. Now from here we go to the search item and type in storage. And this will bring you to the storage settings shown here. And as you can see, the settings opens up. Now here we see a tab called temporary files. Now let's wait till it has fully finished loading. And as you can see, there's a load of uh, storage used for the temporary files given. So we open this up and here you see a load of tabs that we can actually delete. Now the downloads, uh, I would not recommend deleting them because there can sometimes be important information stored. Uh, but what you can do is Windows upgrade log files, you can delete these, the thumbnails, uh, the temporary internet files, this is very important for the given issue. And here the selected files that are recommended. Now from here we scroll up and here we can remove the files. Now from here make sure to double check all the given uh, files that you are deleting because they will be permanently deleted. Now from here press continue and as you can see the Windows temporary files will be deleted. Now once this has been finished a last check what we will do is if your Windows is running on its latest software. So from here go to home and inside home uh, we go and locate the update settings so we go to the last section here the windows update and as you can see there is a update ready for me so simply go on restart now and update your windows system now that should be it if you still get any other questions regarding this tutorial or if this tutorial has helped you leave it in the comments down below uh, also leave a like and subscribe it helps me out a lot thanks for watching